What is going on, brothers and sisters? Uh, thank you guys so much for continuing to subscribe. I appreciate you if you haven't already. I hope you do. Please hit the like, comment below if this video resonates, or uh, look through the comments. There's a lot of good people coming through. Uh, you know, fellow brothers and sisters who have been through what we've been through, leaving comments, telling their stories, and uh, I want everybody to connect. You know, this is this is a community I'm trying to build here. People trying to help one another heal. And those of you that have already gone through the healing process or are further along than me or anybody else, we really appreciate the wisdom that you provide. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. I'm trying to hit a thousand so if you can share out the video. I greatly appreciate it. <clears throat> Today, uh, I want to talk about... Uh, I'm no contact. I've been talking about that a lot, and that's because I'm going through it right now. So I figure I might, I'm going to create a whole playlist of all the different no contact videos that I've been putting up. I'm almost two months no contact. Almost two months. And I feel spectacular, y'all. Those of you that are just coming into no contact, I know, I know you want to reach out to that abuser. I know you want to reach out to that narcissist, you want to, that sociopath, that awful person that lied on you. That cheated on you. I got a piece of my <laughs> that lied on you. That cheated on you. Um, uh, that destroyed you with intent. Remember, remember, please. Every time you want to talk to that evil person, uh, they they might be good looking. So, though them sociopathic chicks are spectacularly good looking. Mine was. Um, she was, but now she she's a drug addict, and she so she, that that meth's starting to real get to her. Uh, that dude. That dude might have been great looking, uh, but he's a lying, cheating piece of trash, all right? You're talking about a Petri dish of STDs with these people, all right? They don't value their sexual energy. They don't value you. They don't value themselves. They just want to spread misery and pain. They use sex to do that. They sleep around. In the case of the ex-narc, uh, she sleeps with anybody, anybody. She dirt, trash. I so, Listen. Uh, she has slept with so many drug addicts now that I know of. It is I am disgusted and I'm thankful that I did not catch anything from that petri dish, that polluted vagina, that polluted dick. That that that, that for you chicks out there that he's sticking in everything and doesn't give a damn. You've got to remember, y'all. Every time you want to contact, every time you think that you miss that person that tore you down with malicious intent, took your money, didn't work or manipulated you in any in any way that benefited them, then use you when they were triangulating you to hurt other people or to make other, to love bomb others, do the same thing they were doing you over and over again in a toxic cycle. Do you want to be a low class piece of shit that gets stuck in that? You do not. You're better than that. The whole reason that narcissist came after you was because you're better than that. You're a better person. You're someone who gets shit done. Just because they put you through the crazy train that they have right now, the devaluation, getting you addicted to adrenaline, dopamine, get, getting you, get, getting you, creating a system within your own mind and body and soul of reoccurring abuse, of accepting less, of accepting being with trash, a liar. I don't know about y'all. Being real to me is very important being up the gut being straight up coming at someone with honesty just tell it how you feel it I mean, sometimes you got to sugarcoat shit because some people's fifis are kind of weak and that's what it is but the, the mainstay of being honest being being factual truthful straight up that is honorable that is a personal honor that that abuser does not have you are lowering your value every time you give in to that piece of trash. That momentary high that you feel when you when they give you just an inch, when they give you just a minute, uh, that, that's with design. That's with design to tear you down, to destroy you, to discredit you. Think about all your family that's looking at you going, what the fuck is going on? Because they don't understand what you're going through. All the friends that have had to back away. All the people that narcissist has isolated you from. All the people that that narcissist has gone to, your enemies, to talk trash about you, to create a, to create a vortex of negativity, to devalue you. All the tricks, all the lies, all the bullshit, the trash they hang out with. You're not like them. You're better than that. You're better than them. I'm telling you, listen. You got to think about this every time you want to you want to talk to them. I'm at the point now, we're almost two months, and I have been going on this roller coaster for a while. So I have gone no contact back, no contact back. I have several times, but now I'm telling you, I feel spectacular. I feel more like myself and in control of my life than I ever have. And looking back at what I allowed, man, I got to work on that myself. Get the wolf out. I got to work on that myself. I got I have to own that shit and accept the trash that I let happen to my life. I'm angry at her. 
Absolutely. She gonna get hers. Trust and believe. The devil gonna come for their own. I am not allowing any of it. I'm not talking to her. I'm not, I'm not responding to any of her trash. I'm taking mental notes of all the flying monkeys and people around her. Because they're going to get theirs. But when you are first going through no contact, you've got, you've got to regain control. That narcissist with design fucked up and trained your body and trained your mind and your soul to be addicted to that abuse. So the first thing you gotta do is learn control. And the only way you're gonna do that is by getting away from that narc, that sociopath, that piece of shit, slut, lion, uh, that fag with the closet sausage, whatever they are. You gotta get away from them for a while. You gotta go away from all their influences for a while. And that may mean your friends too. Don't go back to your friends. They don't know it, but they also add to reactive abuse because they were confused. They loved you. They cared about you. They couldn't understand why you couldn't see that demon that you kept apologizing and going back to. You got to separate yourself from them, from everybody. Listen, you got to isolate. You got to isolate, brothers and sisters. You've got to regain control of yourself. Meditate, get focused, go out in nature, go for walks, start getting into something productive. Take all that crazy energy that's going on in you and move and shift it into something that's going to help you along. And then, trust me, the further along you get away from that manipulative, awful, demonic, slutty, terrible, lying, manipulative, just sponge, freaking parasite of a, of a thing, the longer you're away from them, the better you're going to get, the more worth you're going to feel about yourself, the more you're going you're to you're be mad at yourself. You're going to be mad at yourself. But if you think, respect yourself, know your worth. What's coming to them is going to come to them. And if you're a person, if, if you need to cut off all communication and get away from that and, just, and find your healing, and, and, and do, then you do that. Do whatever is necessary for you to heal. No matter what route you take, whether you are just getting away from it all or you're going to go back and take care of it at some point. The first step, the second step, the third step, all of that has to do with regaining control of yourself and who you are. Grounding, controlling your reactions, knowing how to deal with it. My brothers and sisters, it's, it's a tough road and I understand it, but I am thankful for you and I am thankful for every sub. I am thankful for every person who is here with me on this healing journey because I can't go to my friends and I can't go to my family. They don't understand, they, they done with it, but we understand one another and I greatly appreciate you. So remember, be good to each other. Be good to yourself. Suffer no fools. Stay no contact.